Hey guys, um, long time no see. This video is going to be very, very short because I am very, very tired and I am, I have a, I have my ballet class in two hours so I still need to get myself to a place where I can like find some energy and I've been so, so tired lately. Just, um, I was thinking that it's probably the spring equinox or whatever, not equinox, the whatever the spring equivalent is. But that was back in March and it's almost May. So I don't know where the time has gone, but I was not sure. Um, also, my thyroid, I think it might be out of whack again because Primrose also has thyroid issues, but the opposite ones to me where basically she is hyper, she has hyperactive thyroid, so she is taking medication. Um, but I am not, since I am hypoactive, my, th my thyroid is hypoactive, I am supposed, like her medication might interfere with my thyroid, so I'm supposed to be wearing disposable gloves whenever I'm handling her medication. And I have not been doing that because I'm way too lazy to do that. So, um, yeah, I'm wondering if that maybe had an effect and maybe I shouldn't be so, cavalier about like not using disposable gloves because it's like oh but disposable gloves like you have to throw them out every time that doesn't make sense i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna like wash my hands whatever but apparently well i don't know so yeah i've been very very tired that's one of, one of my updates another one of my updates is um as you know, I now have four people living at my place, four Ukrainian refugees living at my place, and they're doing uh, very good, I think. Um, one of the, the mom person uh, actually has a job and is like training for another job, and the boy, and that's probably the biggest success we managed to get the boy to a school, which was problematic because Ukrainians can enter schools like just as any other Polish kid for free, um, which is great. However, like it's easy for a prime minister to tell everybody, yeah, you can go to school, sure. But like not understanding that like bringing a hundred thousand kids to schools that are already overpopulated, like every single class is not supposed to be like crossing a certain limit of, of number of kids in the class. And it's just impossible to find a place for, like, yeah, the Ukrainians have the right to go to school, but whichever school you go to, every single class is overpopulated already, and they're just not supposed to go over a certain number. So that was so, such a challenge, <sighs> just to find uh, a place that would take him, that wouldn't be, like, so far away. Um, and it's a little bit far away, but... Um, but Still, that was, I, I think that was the biggest success, just um, the fact that this managed to um, resolve itself. I and Katie were talking about HTML, and it was funny to me because my situation is completely opposite yours, um, because I never really learned HTML, um, but I know CSS pretty well. Or at least, you know, back when I was using it, I was very fluent in it. And obviously, like, you know a little bit of HTML when you're using CSS because it's based on it. So you have an understanding of it, but I just wasn't fluent in it. And I wouldn't be, like, using HTML at all. But I would be using CSS a lot because um, when I had an editing and um, e-learning platforms editing job, a lot of the, um, the work that I would be doing on those platforms was styling based so basically whatever um pertains to like font or padding or size or color or, um different placements margins and things like that so i was using css all the time but i wouldn't be using html at all because i was just an editor i was just interfering with the styling of the item not the actual functioning of the site so that's why 
I have like very basic understanding of HTML. I am pretty fluent in CSS, and um, JS is like a, is like a black magic incantation spell book to me. So yeah, um, hope to see you guys this weekend and talk to you guys. I will be free and I'm not going anywhere. So I'm home all weekend and waiting um, for our get together. Oh, one more thing. Um, we finally managed to install a, um, like a, whatever the thing is called, like a cat net on our balcony. Uh, because the balcony here is, um, the rail is very short. It's even short for like a, you know, decently tall human like me. If I was like very drunk, it would be easy for me to fall over <laughs> and fall out of, uh, of the balcony. And this is, you know, third floor. Um, but it was for the sake of the cats because um, the balcony was pretty dangerous to them. Uh, and since the beginning of spring, um, we just wanted to make sure that they have the option to go to the balcony unassisted whenever they want to. And Mickey is especially happy about um, exploring, especially like jumping onto um, the, the, the railing. And um, now that the net is there, it's like you can do whatever you want. You can even climb onto the net. Um, so yeah, I will share a little video with you probably in our group chat of Mickey exploring the balcony um, with the new net. Okay, bye!